The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Sunday, December 19, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Los Angeles Lakers vs Chicago Bulls. Los Angeles is averaging 110.5 points per game. They scored 92 points in their last game, making 38.5% of their field goals and 27.9% of their three-pointers. Isaiah Thomas led the way for the Lakers with 19 points and 2 rebounds in his season debut. Lebron James finished with 18 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists, while Russell Westbrook added 14 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists. Los Angeles has struggled defensively, giving up 111.2 points per game. They gave up 110 points in their last game and will need to do a better job if they want to get the win. The Chicago Bulls have been in decent shape as they've won 5 of their past 8 games, but they will be eager to just get back on the court after having their last 2 games postponed due to league health and safety protocols. The Bulls haven't been on the court since their 118-92 road loss to the Heat last Saturday. Demer Derrizin could be back in action after clearing the league's health and safety protocols, but the bad news is that Zach Lavin isn't expected to return until after Christmas. Chicago is averaging 108.3 points per game. They scored 92 points in their last game, making 37.3% of their field goals and 42.5% of their three-pointers. Zach Lavin led the way for Chicago with 33 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists. Lonzo Ball finished with 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists, while Nikola Vucevic added 10 points and 8 rebounds. Chicago has played well defensively, giving up 105.7 points per game. They gave up 118 points in their last game and will need to play better if they want to win this game. Our first betting advice is to pick Chicago minus 4. The Los Angeles Lakers have been in decent shape as they've won six of their past nine games, but they will be hoping to bounce back after having their three-game win streak halted by the Timberwolves in a 110-92 road loss on Friday. Isaiah Thomas led the team in scoring with 19 points on 5 of 12 shooting off the bench, Lebron James added 18 points with 10 rebounds and 5 assists, while Russell Westbrook chipped in with 14 points. As a team, the Lakers shot 38% from the field and 12 of 43 from the three-point line as they struggled right from the start, scoring just 16 points in the first quarter to trail by 9 points at halftime before getting blown out in the third quarter where the deficit grew to 26 points. Anthony Davis had a rough night as he scored just 9 points before leaving the game with a knee injury. Our second betting advice is to pick under the total game points. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. San Antonio Spurs vs Sacramento Kings. Leading their scoring output in the game was small forward Keldon Johnson, 15.1 ppg, who scored 24 points in the game and was one of two players to score 20 plus points. The defense needs to step up more consistently as they are allowing 46.4% of shots to fall against them and are giving up 110.1 ppg, which is 24th in the NBA. They need to play even better defensively if they want to pull out the win. Sacramento has struggled of late and keeping guys on the floor has been a massive issue for them of late. With so many pieces missing for the Kings, it's going to be tough sledding for them to come up with a victory here. San Antonio showed a lot of grit and character rallying to beat the Jazz in Salt Lake City Friday night. They now get to face a Sacramento team that is mediocre on their best days and struggling without some of their key personnel. The Sacramento Kings have been struggling to begin this season as they are 12 to 18 to begin the regular season. They are being led by point guard Deer and Fox so far, and that is going to help them progress throughout the regular season. They are coming off a 124-105 home loss to the Memphis Grizzlies. 
the biggest problem that popped up was the fact they allowed the Grizzlies to shoot 54.2% from beyond the arc throughout the game. Our first betting advice is to pick San Antonio Spurs to cover. The Kings enter this game 7th in the league, in scoring offense with an average of 110.9 points per game. Sacramento is 13th in rebounding with 45.2 boards a contest, while the team stands 25th by handing out an average of 22.3 assists per contest. The Kings are 29th in scoring defense as they allow an average of 114.4 points a night. Darren Fox leads the team with 21.3 points plus 5 assists a night on the year. Harrison Barnes, 17.6 points, 6.5 rebounds, and Buddy Heald, 15.6 points, are solid scoring options as well. Rich on Holmes, 14 points, 9.3 boards, Marvin Bagley 3, 8.1 points, 6.7 boards, and Therese Halliburton, 11.9 points, 5.9 assists, are each secondary scoring options. The Kings also have Davian Mitchell, Terence Davis, Chimizy Medu, Tristan Thompson, Lewis King, Alex Len, Maurice Harkless and Damian Jones to lean on in their rotation. Sacramento is 18th in field goal percentage by shooting 45.3% from the floor as a team on the year. The Kings are 22nd by knocking down an average of 11.6 three-pointers a night, while they are 24th by knocking down 33% of their attempts from beyond the arc this season. Holmes, I, has missed the last several games while Fox, Bagley 3 Davis, King, Len, and Mitchell are all in the health and safety protocols. Keep an eye out to see if any of them will be able to take the floor. Our second betting advice is to pick over 222.5. Portland Trailblazers vs Memphis Grizzlies. The Memphis Grizzlies have been doing well to begin this season as they are 19-11 to begin the regular season. They are being led by power forward Jaron Jackson Jr. so far, and that is going to help them progress throughout the regular season. They are coming off a 124-105 road win to the Sacramento Kings. The biggest problem that popped up was the fact they allowed the Kings to shoot 26 free throw attempts throughout the game. Portland has been on the skids with 10 losses in their last 12 games heading into this contest. The Trailblazers are trying to climb their way back in the Western Conference playoff picture, but it's an uphill climb with McCollum on the shelf. Meanwhile, Memphis has won 5 straight and 10 of their last 11 heading into this one, as they are winning without Morant on the floor. The Grizzlies have really turned things around after a slow start, and they have a world of momentum on their side. The Portland Trailblazers have been struggling to begin this season as they are 12-18 to begin the regular season. They are being led by point guard Damian Lillard so far, and that is going to help them progress throughout the regular season. They are coming off a 125-116 home over against the Charlotte Hornets. The biggest problem that popped up was the fact they allowed the Hornets to shoot 47.8% from the floor throughout the game. Our first betting advice is to pick Memphis Grizzlies minus 4. On the season, the Grizzlies are 4th in the league in scoring offense, as they average 111.5 points per game this season. Memphis is 1st in the league in rebounding with 47.5 boards a night, while the team is 7th by dishing out an average of 25.4 assists a night. The Grizzlies are having some issues defensively as they are 20th in the league by allowing an average of 108.9 points per contest. John Morant leads the team as he averages 24.1 points plus 6.8 assists a night. Desmond Bain puts up 16.5 points a game, while Jaron Jackson Jr. chips in 16.6 points and 5.3 boards a night. DeAnthony Melton, 10.4 points, and Steven Adams, 7 points, 8.9 rebounds, also are solid contributors on the offensive end of the floor this season. The Grizzlies also count on Kyle Anderson, Dylan Brooks, 18.6 points, Sam Merrill, Brandon Clark, Zaire Williams, John Concher and Xavier Tillman Sr. to contribute. Memphis stands 16th in field goal percentage as they connect on 45.5% of their attempts from the floor on the season. The Grizzlies splash an average of 12.1 three-pointers a night, putting them 17th in that category. Memphis is 15th in three-point field goal percentage, as they knock down 35.1% of their attempts from beyond the arc this season. Portland is 19th in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 45.1% from the field as a team this season. The Trailblazers are 7th in the league in threes per game, as they hit 13.4 per game, and are 14th in three-point percentage, as they hit 35.2% from beyond the arc. Our second betting advice is to pick over 220.5.